the subspindle user defined feature has now been reworked uh, with an eye on actually introducing it into the graphic user interface itself. So in this particular example what we have is we have a turn mill part. I'm just going to quickly run through 3D simulation just to highlight the shape of the part. So we have a number of different features on it. On the first setup Some features on the back setup as well. So there's my finished part. What you notice there is we have some additional stock on here. So the operation I'm going to have to do is a part transfer to get it from one spindle to the other, uh, but have a cut-off operation in there as well. So I'm going to stop the simulation, just view from the top, and I'm going to create a new feature, so turning operation, but from the user list, and what you'll notice is the add-in I'm now using is the new add-in that has uh, the different operations split up. So you have a basic bar pull, we have a transfer with a cutoff, a transfer with a pull, uh, and a cutoff, and a slug transfer. So I'm going to use the transfer with a cutoff operation. Choose next. What you'll notice now is the long list of options that were available for all the different types of transfers. We've now minimized that list to get all the operations that you only have uh, with regards to the uh, the operation that you want to use. So in this case the transfer cutoff operation. So I have a number of uh, elements here, so I've got my grab position, uh, my locations in the NC code, and I've got some cutoff information. In this case what I want to do is I want to change my cutoff position. So at the moment it's at 75, so I'm just going to select a position somewhere at the back here, so I've got a position of 103 millimeters there. So once I'm happy with that, let's say next, get any choices, so we want a cutoff tool, so I'm just going to go to my tools list, so it's found a cutoff tool, I can say finish, I've now got a transfer cutoff there. There's one pre-created in the file if you want to use that one as well, but we've just created this second one for the sake of the demonstration. So I'm going to turn on my machine. In this case I'm using a Morisiki NT4250. It's going to do a single step just to get the simulation running. Then I'm going to start simulating all the operations. So, lower turret is sent home, spindle comes along, grabs it, we get our cutoff operation, then we get our turning operations on the back of the part.